This job, it's a death wish. I'm in. Star Wars fans have a brand new AAA game to look forward to this year. Star Wars Outlaws is coming August 30th, and it promises to put players in the shoes of smuggler, criminal, and all-around scoundrel K. Vess. K must navigate from the criminal underworld in a desperate bid to pull off an impossible heist and buy her freedom. With Ubisoft releasing a new trailer for Star Wars Outlaws, we have a better idea what Kay's mission involves and the many criminals and villains she'll encounter along the way. Let's break down everything we learned from this new footage, from the new and returning criminal syndicates to that unexpected Han Solo cameo. Vess is mixed up in something bigger. Star Wars movies may be all about the conflict between factions like the Empire and Rebel Alliance or First Order and the Resistance. But there are other powers at play. The Star Wars universe is home to a number of criminal organizations, all vying for control of territory, contraband, and even illegal drugs. Star Wars Outlaws thrust players into the heart of the criminal underworld. You'll take missions for different organizations, increasing your standing with some while you also risk making enemies of others. Being a free agent in the Star Wars underworld isn't going to be easy. The new Outlaws trailer reveals some of the organizations who will play a role in the game. Unsurprisingly, Jabba the Hutt has a part to play in this story. He's not just the most iconic Star Wars gangster of them all, but also arguably the biggest force in the criminal underworld in this time period. The trailer confirms Kay Vess will come face to face with Jabba during the course of the game, much to her chagrin. Okay, we're skipping that part. We also see members of the Pike Syndicate in the trailer. The Pikes have played a major role in various Star Wars TV series, like the Book of Boba Fett and the Clone Wars. These unusual fish-headed humanoids are notorious for controlling much of the galaxy's spice supply. Not unlike Dune, spice is a rare substance valued as a narcotic by the galaxy's wealthy elite. We also see a representative from Crimson Dawn, the organization first introduced in Solo, A Star Wars Story. At this point in the timeline, Crimson Dawn's old ruler, Maul, is dead. It's now led by Han Solo's old girlfriend, Kira. As seen in Star Wars comics like War of the Bounty Hunters and Crimson Reign, Kira's ultimate goal is to use her power and resources to bring down the Sith Lords who secretly rule the galaxy. The game appears to be set after the War of Bounty Hunters, as we see the carbonite frozen Han Solo on display in Jabba's palace, but before Crimson Dawn's final collapse and Kira's disappearance. So does this mean we could actually see her appear in Outlaws? According to a report by Game Informer, we will. We may see familiar organizations like the Huts and the Pikes in the trailer, but they aren't the main enemy k Vess will be contending with in the game. That's where Zarek Besh comes in. Zarek Besh is another major power player in the criminal underworld, but not one included as part of the five crime syndicates. This faction was first introduced in Marvel Star Wars comics, where we saw Kira and Crimson Dawn manipulate Zarek Besh into waging war on the Huts. Again, we're guessing the game is set before that conflict, which is known as the Syndicate War. As revealed in the trailer, Zarek Besh is ruled by a human named Slero. Slero is a wealthy opportunistic crime lord who sees great opportunity in the current state of galactic affairs. With the Empire spending so much time and effort hunting the Rebel Alliance, that leaves the criminal cartels plenty of room to make their move and rake in more money. That's if they can work together, of course. The scene where Slero is making his pitch to the Huts, Pikes, and Crimson Dawn is taking place on Canto Bight, the casino planet introduced in 2017 Star Wars The Last Jedi. That's no coincidence. Canto Bight is also where we met Benicio Del Toro's character DJ, a scoundrel with an important lesson to impart. In a galaxy that's trapped in a perpetual cycle of war, the real winners are those who know how to profit off of that war. Oh. I'm the good. Slero clearly views himself as part of that crowd. It's an opportunity to make millions. From what we know about the plot of Star Wars Outlaws so far, the conflict begins when Kay runs afoul of Slero and the crime lord puts a major bounty on her head. From there, Kay is given a choice, run and hide, or attempt to steal Slero's vast fortune and buy her freedom. We won't need to tell you which option she picks. Every mission in Outlaws is about bringing Kay one step closer to her overarching goal of landing the galaxy's biggest payday. It's also worth mentioning the game will introduce another crime syndicate called the Ashiga Clan. We don't know much about this group yet. They were created specifically for the game, but they look to be one more source of both opportunity and danger for K. We do know that they're native to the icy world of Kajimi, another returning planet from the sequel trilogy. Star Wars Outlaws is avoiding a lot of the trappings fans might expect from the franchise. There are no Jedi Knights or lightsabers in sight. Even though this game is set during the year between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, the Rebel Alliance is out of the picture, biding their time and waiting for the right moment to strike. This game is all about shining a light on the dirty underbelly of the Star Wars universe. 
Han Solo may be the only main character from the original trilogy we actually see in this game. And as we've already discussed, this is taking place in that period where Han is stuck in suspended animation as a trophy on Jabba's wall. Han is there as a pointed reminder of how delicate Kaya's position is, as she navigates her way through the underworld and curries favor with different crime syndicates, Kaya's one wrong move from ending up just like Han Solo. So will we see any existing Star Wars characters at all? Or are Jabba, Kira, and Frozen Han the only links to the larger franchise? There's certainly potential to bring in more familiar faces. She's more connected than you let on, Salero. We'd bet good credits on at least one familiar bounty hunter rearing their head up during the course of the game. The trailer introduces a new female character whom Slero hires to produce K. But we highly doubt she's the only one after that bounty. We could see characters like Dengar, Forlom, or IG-88 take up the hunt. And who knows, maybe Outlaws will follow the footsteps of Dark Forces and Shadows in the Empire by including Boba Fett as a major boss character. We're even crossing our fingers that Outlaws might serve as the video game debut for fan-favorite character Dr. Shelley Apra. Apra is a rogue archaeologist and former right-hand woman to Darth Vader himself. And she's perfect for a game set in the seedy underbelly of the Star Wars universe. The trailer gives us a slightly better look at the crew of the Trailblazer and confirms that Kay won't be working completely alone in Star Wars Outlaws. We don't know any of these characters' names yet, but Kay will be accompanied by a motley team of droids and aliens as she prepares for the biggest heist of her career. That crew includes ND5, a reprogrammed trenchcoat-clad commando droid seen at several points in the trailer. ND5 looks to be helpful as a bodyguard, as at one point we see him pushing away Slero's hired bounty hunter. Kay's crew also looks to include a Rodian, this character is apparently good with technology, as we can see him activating a Black Protocol droid. Interestingly enough, that droid looks very similar to Triple Zero, a sadistic former partner of Dr. Aphra. So is this just a superficial similarity, or is it a clue that a popular Star Wars comic character is making the jump to games? Undoubtedly, Kay's most important ally, however, is her furry companion, Nyx. Nyx is a Marikwal and the closest thing Kay has to a family in this lonely galaxy. The trailer hints as to how Nyx will play a role in the game. We see him sneaking through an Imperial facility and stealing a blaster rifle for Kay to use. Expect him to be an integral part of stealth missions and puzzles, as he can activate faraway buttons and distract enemies. While Outlaws is all about navigating the criminal underworld and with the Empire during her missions. As she stirs up trouble on the various worlds in this game, Kay will attract unwanted attention from the Empire and even directly do battle with them, both on ground and aboard her ship. Most of the footage in the trailer of Kay battling Imperial forces seems to empathize stealth, but the shot of a charging death trooper suggests that Kay won't be able to navigate every confrontation with stealth alone. The more attention she attracts, the more Kay will draw down the wrath of Empire Palpatine's military down upon her. That includes vehicular combat as well as gunplay. The trailer features a shot of an ATST walker, and we see footage of a dogfight between the Trailblazer and a group of TIE fighters. In this game, the Rebel Alliance may be lying low right now, but the Empire is still out in full force. Tatooine may just be the most iconic planet in the Star Wars galaxy, and it's one of the open world playgrounds on offer in Outlaws. It also makes sense that Kay would be visiting Luke Skywalker's former home planet, as both Jabba the Hutt and the Pike Syndicate control territory there. The trailer makes it clear that some of Tatooine's more dangerous fauna will be appearing in the game. At one point, we see Kay plunging down towards the Sarlacc. We can only assume that this means her meeting with Jabba doesn't go too well. We can also see Kay dodging a massive crate dragon in the open desert. These enormous beasts are pretty much the biggest and nastiest creatures on the planet. They're incredibly hard to kill, but that doesn't stop a handful of foolish treasure hunters eager to harvest the valuable pearls inside their bodies. Kay seems just desperate enough that she might take on a mission to kill a crate dragon and steal its treasure. At this point, we can only wonder what other giant beasts will be in the game. Massive Entertainment has even created an entirely new world called Toshara, and who knows what monsters lurk on this brand new planet. And that's all we were able to glean from the new Star Wars Outlaws trailer. Which world are you most excited to visit? Which iconic Star Wars characters will put in an appearance? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to IGN wherever you watch. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all.